A man with unwavering faith, endowed with mystical powers, received the stigmata of Christ and confronted the demon. His acts of compassion and charity changed the lives of many around him. Do you already know who I'm talking about? If not yet, I'll give you another clue, he was a priest. If you thought of St. Pio of Pietrelcina, you're correct. Today we will discover 10 curiosities about him. 10. The Impact of the Mystical Experience Father Pio's mystical experience on August 12, 1912, is an episode that resonates deeply in the history of spirituality and religion. In this unique event, Father Pio reported experiencing an intense and transcendent experience, in which his heart was struck by a dart of living and burning fire. This moment is emblematic not only for its uniqueness but also for the profound impact it had on Father Pio's life and spirituality. This mystical experience is often interpreted as a moment of spiritual enlightenment, in which Father Pio felt an intimate and direct connection with the Divine. The description of his heart being wounded by a dart of living and burning fire evokes symbolic images of spiritual transformation and purification. For Father Pio, this experience was not just an isolated event, but a turning point that shaped his life and religious ministry. He attributed to this experience a profound influence on his understanding of faith, devotion, and spiritual life. From that moment on, Father Pio became one of the most revered and studied saints in the Catholic tradition, with many faithful seeing his life as an example of devotion and pursuit of holiness. 9. Vocation Since Childhood the story of Francis Forgione, later known as Father Pio, is marked by a religious vocation that manifested itself since his childhood. From a very young age, he showed signs of a deep spiritual connection and a burning desire to dedicate himself completely to God. His early devotion and his determination to follow the religious life stand out as remarkable aspects of his childhood. From the early years of his life, Francis demonstrated an unusual interest in spirituality and religious life. His parents reported that he often engaged in devotional activities and prayer, showing a spiritual sensitivity beyond his age. This inclination toward religious life only intensified over the years. Francis manifested a deep desire to live for God and to consecrate himself to Him completely. His determination to follow this path was remarkable, especially considering his tender age. In the eyes of those around him, it became evident that Francis had a special vocation. His fervent devotion and his determination to embrace religious life were striking aspects of his personality since childhood. This spiritual precocity did not go unnoticed, and many recognized in him a divine calling from an early age. 8. Gifts and Supernatural Visions Francis Forgione's life is marked by a series of gifts and supernatural visions that accompanied him from childhood to adulthood, deeply shaping his spirituality and religious journey. From a young age, Francis demonstrated a special sensitivity to the divine, with visions and experiences that transcended common understanding. From the early years of his life, Francis exhibited signs of an unusual connection with the spiritual world. His childhood was punctuated by supernatural visions, where he reported having direct contact with the divine. These experiences not only filled him with awe but also prompted him to seek a life dedicated to God. Among the most striking episodes are the appearances of the guardian angel, Mary, and Jesus. These divine encounters were not just isolated events but central elements in his spiritual formation. The visions of the guardian angel and the sacred figures nurtured his devotion and strengthened his determination to pursue a religious life. 7. Conflict with Evil Father Pio's life is permeated by a recurring and extremely significant theme, the conflict with evil. From a young age, Father Pio faced an intense spiritual struggle against the forces of evil, a battle that extended throughout his life and became a central element in his religious journey. The confrontation with the demon is vividly and dramatically described in Father Pio's life. He described these battles as confrontations against a giant, a powerful metaphor that illustrates the magnitude and gravity of these spiritual conflicts. From youth, Father Pio felt the presence of evil around him, a force that sought to divert him from his spiritual path and undermine his faith. These spiritual battles took on various forms throughout Father Pio's life, from internal temptations to demonic apparitions. He faced spiritual assaults that tested his faith and determination to follow God's ways. The demonic apparitions were particularly striking, 
revealing the intensity of the spiritual conflict he faced. However, Father Pio never backed down from these challenges. His unwavering faith and deep devotion were his weapons in the fight against evil. He found strength in prayer, penance, and trust in God to resist temptations and overcome spiritual attacks. These conflicts not only tested his faith but also strengthened his determination to serve God and follow his religious calling. 6. Stigmata of Christ The stigmata of Christ are an extraordinary and deeply symbolic phenomenon that marked Father Pio's life and became a central point in his holiness and devotion. These wounds, similar to those suffered by Jesus during the crucifixion, are seen as a divine sign of Father Pio's profound spiritual union with Christ and his participation in Christ's redemptive sufferings. The experience of the stigmata began to manifest in Father Pio's life on September 20, 1918, during a period of intense prayer. He reported receiving the marks of Christ's hands, feet, and side, as if physically sharing in Jesus' passion and crucifixion. These wounds were visible, painful, and bled, especially on Thursdays, coinciding with the day the Church celebrates Holy Thursday, and ceased on Saturdays. For the devotees and followers of Father Pio, the stigmata were a tangible sign of his holiness and his closeness to God. They saw in these wounds not only a miracle but also a powerful testimony of Father Pio's faith and absolute surrender to Christ. The stigmata were interpreted as a mark of Father Pio's close identification with Christ's redemptive suffering, a visible manifestation of his participation in the mysteries of the Passion and Resurrection. In addition to inspiring devotion and admiration, the stigmata also sparked controversies and questions. Some skeptics suggested medical or psychological explanations for Father Pio's wounds, while others raised theological questions about the authenticity of the stigmata. However, for many, Father Pio's marks were an unequivocal sign of divine grace and supernatural presence in his life. 5. Charity and Care for the Faithful Charity and care for the faithful were fundamental pillars in the life and ministry of Father Pio, standing out as one of the most striking aspects of his holiness and spiritual influence. Known for his tireless dedication to pastoral service, Father Pio devoted long hours of his day to the confessional, offering spiritual counseling and comfort to those who sought his guidance. Father Pio not only received the faithful in the confessional but also welcomed them with compassion and kindness, demonstrating a deep empathy for the struggles and difficulties of each person who approached him seeking spiritual aid. His ability to listen, forgive, and offer words of encouragement and wisdom made many see him as a reliable spiritual guide and a living example of Christian love. In addition to his work in the confessional, Father Pio also stood out for his ability to convert unbelievers and bring back to faith those who had strayed from the church. His life testimony and example of holiness inspired countless people to recognize God's presence in their lives and to commit themselves to a life of faith and devotion. Another notable aspect of Father Pio's ministry was his reputation for performing miraculous healings and interceding on behalf of the sick. Many reported experiences of physical and spiritual healing after receiving his blessings and prayers. These extraordinary events contributed to the growing devotion to Father Pio and to his reputation as a saint capable of performing miracles in the name of God. 4. Recognition of Holiness The recognition of Father Pio's holiness by the Catholic Church is a testament to the depth of his spiritual life and the lasting impact of his ministry. Despite the accusations and investigations he faced throughout his life, Father Pio was ultimately recognized as a man of virtue and holiness, whose extraordinary life inspired millions of people around the world. During his time as a priest, Father Pio was subjected to intense criticism and suspicion, mainly regarding his stigmata and other supernatural gifts. However, as his fame for holiness grew and reports of miracles associated with him multiplied, the Catholic Church began a more detailed investigation into his life and deeds. The process of beatification and canonization of Father Pio was marked by careful analysis of his life, writings, teachings, and reports of his actions and miracles. During this process, various supernatural gifts associated with him were confirmed, including the stigmata, miraculous healings, and gifts of prophecy and spiritual discernment. After a rigorous evaluation of all available evidence, the Catholic Church concluded that Father Pio lived a life of exceptional holiness and that his supernatural gifts were authentic and of divine origin. 
He was beatified on May 2, 1999, by Pope John Paul II and canonized on June 16, 2002, becoming St. Pio of Pietrelcina. 3. Impact on People's Lives For many who had the blessing of knowing Father Pio personally, his presence was a source of comfort, hope, and inspiration. His wise counsel and words of encouragement touched the hearts of those who sought him for spiritual guidance. Many witnessed profound transformations in their lives as a result of encountering him, experiencing spiritual renewal and a deeper connection with their faith. Furthermore, numerous reports of miraculous healings attributed to Father Pio's intercession highlight the power of his prayer life and his closeness to God. People from around the world claim to have been healed from physical illnesses and serious ailments after invoking his intercession or visiting the sanctuary dedicated to him in San Giovanni Rotondo, Italy. These experiences of miraculous healing are living testimonies to the transformative impact of faith and devotion to Father Pio. Even after his death, Father Pio's spiritual legacy continues to influence and inspire countless people worldwide. His teachings on love, forgiveness, charity, and a life of prayer are sources of guidance and inspiration for many seeking to live a life closer to God. His holiness continues to attract pilgrims and devotees from all walks of life, who seek his intercession and blessing in their own spiritual journeys. 2. Humility and Simplicity Humility and simplicity were distinctive marks in Father Pio's life, even amidst his fame and recognition as a saint. Despite being venerated by millions of people around the world and being the object of countless demonstrations of devotion, Father Pio remained faithful to his vows of poverty and simplicity, living a life of prayer and service to the needy until the end of his days. From the early years of his priesthood, Father Pio chose a life of renunciation and material detachment, dedicating himself entirely to his spiritual mission and serving others. He lived modestly and austere, contenting himself with the essentials and renouncing the comforts and luxuries of the world. His cell in the convent of San Giovanni Rotondo reflected his simplicity of life, being a stripped-down and unadorned space. Despite the fame surrounding him and the numerous graces and miracles attributed to him, Father Pio never succumbed to pride or vanity. He always saw himself as an instrument in God's hands, attributing all the graces and blessings he bestowed to divine power and not to himself. His humility was evident in his words and actions, always seeking to direct glory to God rather than himself. Father Pio was also known for his willingness to serve the needy and to listen to and comfort those who sought his help. He spent long hours in the confessional, offering spiritual guidance and solace to those who approached him. His compassion and empathy for those who suffered were evident in his willingness to help and his readiness to forgive. Until the end of his life, Father Pio remained humble and simple, faithful to his religious vows and committed to a life of prayer and service to others. 1. Incorrupt Body Father Pio's incorrupt body is an extraordinary phenomenon that has fascinated and inspired devotees around the world. After his death in 1968, Father Pio's body was preserved, and since then has been kept on display in the Church of Santa Maria del Grazie, in San Giovanni Rotondo, Italy. Located in the convent of St. Pio of Pietrelcina, the Church of Santa Maria del Grazie has become a pilgrimage destination for millions of faithful who come to venerate Father Pio's incorrupt body. His body is displayed in a glass sarcophagus, allowing devotees to approach and pay homage to the saint. The phenomenon of Father Pio's body's incorruptibility is considered a sign of God's special presence in his life and a testament to his holiness. The preservation of the body without visible signs of decomposition is interpreted as a divine confirmation of his closeness to God and his ongoing intercession on behalf of the faithful. The liturgical feast day of St. Pio of Pietrelcina, popularly known as Father Pio, is celebrated in the Catholic Church's liturgical calendar on September 23. These texts offer a detailed insight into the life and spirituality of St. Father Pio, revealing his profound connection with the divine and his lasting impact on popular devotion. His mystical experience, his dedication since childhood, his supernatural gifts, and his spiritual battle underscore his authenticity and devotion to God. His stigmata of Christ and his service to the sick reflect his union with Christ and his mission of love and compassion. The recognition of his holiness and the incorrupt body testify to his influence beyond earthly life. On the liturgical feast day of St. Pio of Pietrelcina, 
the faithful are invited to reflect on his legacy and to seek to follow his example of faith and service to others, reminding us of the transformative power of faith and the ongoing presence of the divine in our lives. Saint Father Pio remains a source of inspiration and devotion for millions, illuminating the spiritual path of all who invoke him. I thank you for having reached the end of this video. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next story.